just shared with us. We have some breaking inputs coming in. We are now learning that RJD's Lalu Yadav is constantly in touch with the JDU MLAs looking to weigh in on other possibilities only to salvage the current situation as far as RJD is concerned. And this is what we are learning at CNN News 18 only through JDU sources. For more details, let's quickly go back to Saurabh who continues to stay with us. Saurabh's been the one to bring us that breaking input. Saurabh, weigh in on uh, this new story because you know so far we've seen JDU and especially Nitish Kumar being very confident uh, of you know bagging all the seats as far as Bihar is concerned for them. How does RJD now place itself in the picture? See, RJD is, con uh, you know, they are confident, not only because uh, the leader is strong over here, Tejashri Yadav and Lalu Prasad is still active in the politics, but as far as the number is concerned, it's a political number uh, game and they have the numbers right now. They are only eight MLA short to form a new government. If you talk about the numbers, particularly they are 79. The RJD is 79. Uh, they have Congress in their pocket. They have uh, uh, left 16 MLAs and, uh, you know, uh, the numbers brings them to very close to the uh, you know the the magic number of 122 uh, but they are only eight MLA short what we are learning that now RJD is looking at new options uh, whether if Nitish Kumar doesn't clarify his stand they are going to uh, shock uh, the people of Bihar the country uh, with uh, a new uh, you know what we are learning is that they are in touch with JDU. remember uh, we had uh, uh, Lalan Singh who was in controversy right. a, a few big, uh, weeks back where he was earlier a uh, JDU president uh, but all of a sudden a meeting was called and he was removed from the post of uh, you know uh, uh, JDU president and uh, then again all his close confidant were also removed from the uh, working committee of JDU uh, so uh, this was a clear indication that something was going on uh, within all right uh, Lennon, that's a, that, uh, Lennon, those are some uh, very interesting uh, you know, points that you've made Saurav continue to stay with us because I'm also joined in by Aman from the newsroom Aman weigh in on the numbers that have just been shared by Saurav he's made some very valid points over there how crucial is it for JDU right now to protect their existing numbers well of course you know it is very important for JDU to protect its numbers for to RGD to get JDU numbers as anti-defection law as well so you know they need to wean away a significant number of JDU MLAs. I think that is looks a bit difficult and mm. perhaps this is the situation why uh, we saw Mr. Nitish Kumar replace Lalan Singh and become himself the party president just a, a couple of weeks back. This was done because Nitish Kumar was suspecting that Lalan Singh was getting very close to the RJD and maybe a coup could happen. So I think this is what Nitish Kumar's calculations were and we saw that uh, change happen a few weeks back. Uh, that will be, I think, RJD, you know, obviously will try to save the government. You know, last time they could not when uh, Nitish went towards the BJP side, but this time they might try to save their government by doing this but I'm not very sure that no, you they know, can be able to It's very interesting that you say that that this time uh, could be different and which is why I want to ask you how could this time be different when you know they've already failed once last time. Yeah, this, this time you know also because the Lok Sabha election Akanksha is very near you know there is this because Bihar is a very very key state you know in Bihar if Nitish Kumar goes to RJD a major pillar of the India alliance is going to fall. We've already seen what's happened with right. Mamta Banerjee second major pillar. Nitish Kumar in fact is the prime mover of the India Alliance. It will be a major, major blow to the India Alliance, a big flip to the BJP if actually the Bihar government is formed along JDU and BJP are back. And you remember in 2019 when JDU and BJP contested together along with LJP, uh, they swept the state. RJD could not win even a single Lok Sabha seat in the last elections. That is also the reason that JDU and BJP are a very, very potent combination mm. in a Lok Sabha election. Mm. That is also the calculation which is going around in BJP circles because this point is that the BJP is not very keen to make Nitish Kumar again the chief minister. They want their own chief minister because BJP is the single largest party in the state assembly. But will a concession be given considering the Lok Sabha election is here and given that if BJP is able to bring Nitish Kumar to their side, the India alliance sure. serves a very severe jolt. That is a call I think the BJP is uh, contemplating and thinking about and we'll know maybe in a couple of days what the BJP is meeting in Delhi. Tomorrow the BJP is holding a state executive meeting in Patna. Right. Uh, by I think tomorrow evening we would know what exactly is going to happen. All there. right. Many thanks to you Aman and Saurav for bringing in all those inputs and for putting the story into perspective for us. But for now, let's also play out the kind of reactions that are coming in from Bihar. Uh, let's start with former Deputy CM of the state. Yes. 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 Yes.
तो राजनीति में हमेशा दरवाजा बंद नहीं रहता जो दरवाजा बंद रहता हो सकता पड़ने पर खुल भी सकता अब खुलेगा कि नहीं खुलेगा क्या होगा ये मैं नहीं कह सकता हूँ ये हमारा केंद्रीय नेतृत्व तो इन चीज़ों को तय करता है लेकिन जैसा मैंने कहा कि अगर दरवाजा बंद होता है तो राजनीति में दरवाज़ा खुलता भी है नहीं वो तो देखिए रूटीन है बैठक जो है हर दो तीन महीने पर होती है वो बैठक हो रही है लेकिन जैसा मैंने कहा कि राजनीति संभावनाओं का खेल है कुछ भी हो सकता है लेकिन अभी मैं इससे ज़्यादा कुछ नहीं कर सकता हूँ तो ये हम लोग को इसके बारे में कोई जानकारी कि बिहार की सियासत में जो ये उथल पुथल दिखाया जा रहा है इसमें कोई दम नहीं है हकीकत और सच्चाई ये है कि बिहार में नीतीश तेजस्वी की सरकार में सब ऑल इज वेल है कहीं कुछ नहीं है लेकिन कुछ विरोधी कुछ तत्व हैं जब से सरकार बनी है पंद्रह महीने से तब से ही वो सरकार गिराने में लगे हैं ये सरकार मजबूती से काम कर रही है करते रहेगी जनता की भलाई का काम हो रहा है क्या देखते हैं आज के वक्त में बिहार के लिए दो दिन कितना महत्वपूर्ण है बिहार के लिए हर दिन महत्वपूर्ण है और आज तो पूरे देश के लिए महत्वपूर्ण है रिपब्लिक डे है पूरा देश आज खुशी मना रहा है तो हर दिन महत्वपूर्ण है राजनीति की दृष्टि से घटनाक्रम चलते रहता है कोई उसको अलग से देखने की जरूरत नहीं आज के दिन में नहीं ये कहा जा रहा है कि नीतीश कुमार महागठबंधन में नाराज चल रहे हैं और एनडीए के साथ आ सकते हैं इसको आप किस तरह से देखते हैं देखिए यह बात तो बिल्कुल ठीक है कि नाराज ही नहीं चल रहे हैं वहाँ दम घुटन की स्थिति में है मतलब समझ लीजिए कि वो जितना दिन रहेंगे वहाँ उतनी आयु उनकी घटते जाएगी यह बात तो महसूस कर रहे हैं लेकिन महसूस कर रहे हैं आखिर इसके पीछे कारण भी तो नीतीश जी ही हैं गए थे क्यों आज इतनी बेचैनी है फिर वहाँ से बाहर होने के लिए तो गए ही क्यों थे थे ही एन में तो अब तो उनको इस बात को को सोचना चाहिए कि आखिर क्यों गए थे बेचैनी तो है ही स्वाभाविक है मैं समझता हूँ माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी उप मुख्यमंत्री जी की अब तक की जो बॉडी केमिस्ट्री है और जो कार्यशैली रही है इतना गरिमामयी आचरण रहा है उप मुख्यमंत्री जी का ये बिहार के जर्रे जर्रे में जाहिर है देखिए जब आपदा का आपको भास हो तो आपात बैठक ही करेंगे आपदा का भास तो बीजेपी को हो रहा है इसलिए आप देखेंगे कि राम मंदिर की प्राण प्रतिष्ठा को पूरी एक स्पेक्टिकल के रूप में करने के बावजूद कहीं न कहीं उनको संदेश किया है कि बिहार का जो प्रगतिशील बहुजन समाज है वो अभी भी बीजेपी पर भरोसा करने को तैयार नहीं है शायद उसी भरोसे के सूचकांक को थोड़ा बढ़ाने के लिए ये आपात बैठक नाम की चीज बुलाई गई हो ठीक है ऑल वेल